why don't you tell us what we have here, Pat? Well, I think uh, you guys saw this is one of our uh, most popular dishes, and it is my favorite dish that we create. Me too. It's uh, seafood linguine. Um, so it's a basic Alfredo sauce base. Um, you know, we've got these delicious fresh mussels. Now this, it's kind of hidden here. We should have had this propped up a little bit prettier. Right here. So our, our beautiful uh, sea scallops. Love them. Um, you know, again, try not to, like, brag about what we do here. But, like, that's a beautiful scallop. It Thank is. you. Uh, I know it's a, a bit of a pain getting... Uh, you know, scallops in because we have to order them in advance, and my mouth's watering. I know. I'm, I'm having I'm, a hard time talking. <laughs> I'm going what, for a scallop. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have the scallop too. It's phenomenal. Cooked perfectly. Mm hmm. The cheese sauce. It's funny, I. I uh, I love every single item on our menu. I don't love liver, um, but our liver, the way you know, we, the way we cook it, it's way better than any liver I've eaten. Yeah. Um, but I don't often sit and eat a seafood linguine because most days I don't typically eat until the end of the work day, mm -hmm. and I hate asking the kitchen to cook for me after we've closed or when they're trying to close or trying to get like because they want to fuss over me because I'm the boss. And you just want to eat. And I just want to eat, and I, you know, as a young cook or chef anywhere, I really didn't like it when my boss ordered at the end of the night. Because it's like, well, we just got this cleaned. And they didn't care. I try not to be that guy. We should talk a little bit about what great service you've provided me. When we first started operating this restaurant, I was driving <laughs> to Kitchener twice a week to pick up fresh seafood. Really? Yeah. Because I knew the supplier from my time working in Kitchener. Yeah. And I couldn't rationalize in my head buying seafood from anybody else. Just makes sense. So I can get this seafood from one of my two other suppliers. But their markup is too big. And so how you and I worked it out was you give me a very fair markup to save me the trip. And I win. <laughs> I think you do it to be a good partner with me. I think, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I think you, we've had some honest conversations about price and things have been sorted. Yep. And that's that to me, again, it's those business it's about making money but most important is the relationships yeah having relationships that are better i don't want you to lose money i don't want to lose money it's against my religion right so let's work together yeah um you know i think of james at the market he's always worried about his price his price his price i'm like i set my prices based on what my input costs are mm -hmm. um so if your tomatoes are a dollar more a pound, that's okay. We include that. And yep. I always, <clears throat> what are we using tomatoes for? We put one slice of a tomato on a hamburger. Right. So breaking down the tomato into the actual cost going into a dish or onto a bruschetta of bread, or there's tomatoes in this dish, you know, people notice the quality of our tomatoes. We get positive comments all the time on our produce. Right. So we, can just pay a few pennies more a pound and put the best produce on the table. So if you really want to experience <laughs> what we're good at here, we call it uh, doing a seafood linguine patty style, which, uh, which means we'll take a, a four ounce tenderloin, cook it to your desired doneness, and put that on top of a surf and turf pasta. You know, it won't be your most inexpensive meal, meal, but it might be the best meal you ever had. It's absolutely delicious. I get mine, like, rare, rare, mm. and cut it with a fork. It is it's phenomenal. That Norpak Tenderloin. 
Yeah, it's, uh, we're so fortunate to be, to have settled here in Oxford. We're on the cusp of Norfolk. Mm -hmm. Just, mm. Norpac's been around for so long. And they've really built a system, you know. They used to buy cows from auction. Now they have farmers that raise cows for NORPAC. Same feed program. Right. Always the same breed of cows. So there's a real consistency I didn't in know their that. product. Mm -hmm. So, I, and I've learned a lot about NORPAC getting to know Ron. Right. Their big business is grocery. They're in, you know, high-end grocery stores, Fortino's. Um, but they do the, a group of restaurants in Kitchener Waterloo owned by the Weidman brothers. So charcoal steakhouse, charcoal Del Dante's. Yeah. So, if restaurants of, of that quality are using an RPAC product consistently, yeah, man, am I lucky that that's the closest for me. Yeah. Now, you might have spoiled children or restaurant children when the first thing they ask today, Papa, can I have a steak? I don't know too many 12 year olds that you know, come home and ask you know, after an hour long bus ride if they can have a steak. Can I have a steak, please? I'm pretty lucky. I feel very fortunate. Break bread with you today? I feel lucky. Good day. Thank you. Thank you.